Hello everyone, and today I'm going to share with you my interview experience for the post of GRF at uh, DRDO NPOL. Actually, the NPOL basically stands for Naval Physical Research Lab, Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory, and it is basically associated with the sound and wave navigation in the defense sector. So, <clears throat> let us start. I'm going to tell you what are the questions they have asked me, and uh, what my and I what are the remember question answer that I can remember. So first of all, and this interview was online. Okay, so the basic we have started with questions with basic information from application form that we have filled. They have asked the name, the percentage, and uh, what are the what your experience, and uh, what's your GATE score, and uh, all the things what you achieved in your life till now. And some basic question about your family and what your parents do. Is there any siblings or not? Okay. Next, uh, they have asked about uh, why MTech or GRF. Which one will you choose? And why are not doing the masters or GR? Why you are choosing GRF? So I have given the reason that I have my own reason that I have given for the why I am choosing GRF. So they have directly moved to the next question and uh, they have started asking the technical question. So. They have started the first question from technical, the brief detail of my final year project. Because it's a, actually it's a, uh, my final year project is quite uh, interesting. So they have interest and, my, and might be the interviewer is also the, from the same field. So they have asked some basic question and to introduce some brief about me in final year project. And they have asked some counter question regarding that. Uh, so one thing that you should uh, prepare with your final year project irrespective of which organization in which organization you are giving interview okay so next thing uh, there are some introductory RSE question RSE means refrigeration and air conditioning so some basic question like what is the VCR cycle what is the function of compressor uh, what is the effect of superheating subcooling the basic question as a BTEC level then some practical experience based question of RSE because as my working experience is in RSC, so they have asked some practical questions uh, which in currently used by industry. So I have given the satisfactory answer. Those questions I know. Uh, the question that I didn't know, I just simply said, sir, I don't know. Okay. Then uh, they have asked some psychrometric chart lines, what different lines shows and what is the function of different lines and how we can find dew point temperature how we can find enthalpy, how we can find wet bulb temperature and one thing, uh, the, what is the comfort condition and how, what its significance and what are the factors that affecting the uh, comfort condition, okay? So what conditions are that that affect the human comfort? So they have also asked me, then they have switched to fluid mechanics section. So initially they have started from flow pattern which are, which are the flow patterns on the fluid, then shear stress variation in the flow, laminar turbulent, different cross section area, what is the pressure gradient in different flow, and what are the types of flow and types of fluid like Newtonian, non Newtonian, and their example. And some uh, more deep questions are there fluid mechanics, but I could not recall. And uh, even in the interview, I have not uh, given the answer. And just simply said, sir, I don't know. Next, as they are working in the sound and waves navigation system, so yes, definitely it, it was uh, obvious that they will ask some question about waves and sound. So they have asked about waves and sound in acoustic base. Okay, so whatever I know, I said them as per given answer. But when they started uh, going into deep, the deep into deep, then I just said simply, sir, uh, I don't know this answer, and then. They found out that this person has this much uh, knowledge in this field, so they have switched to next portion that is a thermodynamic relation. So they have asked some basic: what is the TDS relation? What is the Maxwell relation? What its significance? Uh, what have you used in practical life? And uh, what is your why you only limited to theory questions? Then one thing that is interesting, and this is the most uh, uh, lengthiest part, that means the, the longest portion, the longest question that uh, is Joule-Thomson coefficient graph and its significance. So 
what its graph says and it gra the graph is plotted between which two quantities how it is drawn what is the inversion line what uh, the slope indicates so this is the lo longest question that uh, discussed in the interview next uh, as i have uh, experience in rfc and especially in production so and sheet metal also so they have asked some sheet metal operation basic shearing mechanism is what what are the different uh, plunging blanking and what are the different shear sheet metal operations and uh, just they have to check they want to check that uh, whether i have the knowledge or not uh, and then the sequence of sheet metal operation from my experience because i have said them i was associated with the designing of this sheet metal part so they have asked me the what is the sequence from starting from raw material to a finished sheet metal product so what are the operations involved like uh, cutting punching bending notching embossing finishing filing all that thing then they have switched to production that is welding so during that welding what are the microstructural changes are there what is the heat affected zone what are the defect welding defects are there so they have asked regarding the microstructural changes initially i have given the answer but after that when i found that i could not give the answer i just simply said that uh, sir i could not uh, i don't i don't know and i could not give the answer then they asked me about preheating and post heating in welding so this is a quite interesting topic why preheating is done why post heating is done uh, why it is uh, done in low carbon steel or high carbon steel why uh, and the next question was the what is the effect of carbon content on the welding process and uh, if carbon content is too high or too low then which welding process that we can use so these are the question they asked me and this interview was around uh, uh, 13 25 to 30 minutes so these are the some questions that they have asked me and in the interview so i hope this will be your helpful in your upcoming grf interview i have also uh, uploaded one video of grf in uh, ard that is a pune lab so i have also uploaded that video and that is you can find in the i button on the topmost side so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this and you found some information about the interview and one more thing that i would like to tell uh, what is about panel members so there are four panel members so and all are male one person is from hr and other three from technical so this is all about my interview experience thank you for watching this video